Ahoy there, want to build a simple airship in survival? Well, I've got a secret to show you, so step aboard, and we will show you first how to do this, and after the video, I've got something you definitely didn't know about moving platforms. Look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? You can see how it flies through the clouds so easily. Let's get started. And here's what you're going to need to build it if you want to list. You're going to start with a slime block at the position you'd want to stand, and that's going to be the heart of the engine. And we're going to put a sticky piston underneath it and one facing into it, and we're going to want to power these with a pair of observers. One observer facing in this way and one observer facing in this way. And we're going to make those easy to access in a minute. Next, cover it with as many pistons as you can fit, which is three. And then we're going to want to put our favorite glazed terracotta a block away on each one, like this. And then we can start filling it out with our honey box. So this one's going to be the gangplank right here that's going to allow us to safely stand here and start and stop it. This one right here is going to be what controls these two pistons. We're going to want to hold on to this one like this. We're going to put an observer looking away from it so that it powers that one. And in Java, we can do this. And so that works perfectly. So for this first one that's sticking out the furthest, we want to add the pattern four times. So we're going to go two, three, four. So there should be eight blocks total. You'll see each of them happens four times. And then we're going to go like this and fill in the rest of the pattern. And this is the secret that I will explain at the end of the video. There's a reason why we want to do this. Now you can start adding your port and starboard side, and I highly recommend putting this right here. This is going to make it very easy for you to get on and not get pushed off with the piston. And we're going to add these across, and then we're going to add these across. Bup, 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 bup. And if you want to replace this with a crafting table, you can always do that. Now on the front, we have a few more blocks we can use from here, because this is only a few that's being pushed. And so we can actually come in and we can have a front that looks really nice, that curves up like so. And we can do this, but we can also switch these out so that they are slabs. And the reason why we would want to do that is we can actually put in some minecart chests. So if I put a minecart chest here and a minecart chest here, you will see that when it starts moving, we will actually be able to have those as storage. So how do we get it started? All you need to do is put a button right here. And now the whole thing is going. Those have popped down in. And you can see that as long as we're not dumb about it, we'll never fall here. So this is pushing us along. So just run up at this, and you won't have to worry about falling when you're on survival mode. There, we're finally... Blah! We seem to have fallen into a cloud here. So now, in order to stop it, you're going to need to put something like obsidian right here. But the cleaner way is to put one two, three, four, five, five, six. And if you've got six blocks that are being pushed along here, then any block when you're standing right here, so we're gonna come over for an example, and now we're safely here, any block you place like that will stop it. Somehow I miscounted we have five. There we go, that'll stop it. And so we can continue to start it with this one. And I'll, I'll do it on survival just to show you. And so on survival, we'll be able to come over here and we'll be able to place any block, like I'll put a stairs here, and that'll stop it. And then to start it again, we want to break that. And what we'll do is we'll come over and we'll put it right there. And then to not fall here, you just want to hop over that. Ta-da! Neat, right? Now you've got a neat little airship that you can move around on. So now I'll tell you the secret. You see how these are alternating right here? Well, they give a very unique effect that allows me to move around on them. When you have a diagonal grid of glazed terracotta and honey blocks, it gives you the ability to move around on it and not be dragged forward, just like you're being pulled along by honey. But see, I can be mostly over a honey block like this, so it's pulling me along, and I can still jump. I'm only held down by the honey if I'm directly on top of it. As long as I'm not directly on top of it, I'll be able to do that, so I can still kind of run around while it's moving without any trouble. Let's see that again. So you'll see that I'm walking around, walking forward, and I'm staying here on the forward of it, because I'm on the honey blocks, and I can come back over here, and I can walk back to the front again. That I'm able to walk around on this freely, but I can also jump. Even though you would think I couldn't jump right there. There are some incredible projects you can do with these secrets. And when I say incredible, I mean incredible. In the meantime, you should go watch one of my older videos, because I showed how to make a very easy one very quickly. I even did a short on this. Shout out to my patrons Austin J and patrons past and present, and I'll see you in the next one.